I'm healthy, I'm young, I bought expensive sneakers already. Do I need these insoles and why? Who asked this? <laughs> Is that really what they said? <laughs> yeah. That sounds sassy. <laughs> That's why I delivered it. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris from weartesters.com. Welcome back to our channel. Uh, we did want to do something a little bit different today. Usually we just focus on footwear. However, we have done videos on these move insoles in the past. We have the game day as well as the game day pros. We help these guys develop these insoles. We're part of their kind of like consult team and all of that stuff. So just to forewarn you, like that's why I know so much about the insoles because like we helped them do this. But since we have unveiled these insoles with our own video and everything and done a full on breakdown on why we feel that they are the best insoles available we still get a lot of frequently asked questions about them whether they are like specific questions regarding like what type of shoe they could fit in or sizing advice and things like that so what i'm going to say first off is that if you want detailed information on what these insoles are all about uh, there's a thumbnail here there's going to be a drop down like info card here we'll probably leave a link down below in the description as well but you can check out that original video uh, we actually asked move to find us uh, what their frequently asked questions on their website are so they actually provided those for us so these are from real customers which is really cool on top of that we did pull our instagram following over at wear testers and we got a bunch of questions directly from you guys as well so mrs wing go ahead and lay it on me which insole should i buy game day or game day pro okay so there are two options again if you want like real specific details between the two you can go check out that previous video the foams are slightly different so just to let you guys know about that the game day is this one right here the purple foam the game day pro is this like magenta one basically it's the plates that are the main difference so this one is more of a nylon or an eva so it's got a little bit more forgiveness to it when it's underneath your foot this is the one that i personally really Really like to use however if you're a large athlete or if you just need or want additional super hardcore torsional support then that's exactly where this guy's gonna come from so this one is still a nylon plate but you can like change the densities to things so this one is much more firm I can't bend it or anything like that this is a lot of torsional support so if you're talking like a Kyrie shoe that like really lacks in something like that then you might want to go with the game day pro however if you're just wearing something casually and you want something comfortable then the regular game day should be just fine custom insoles versus game day insoles can you give like pros and cons custom insoles are, are really just custom orthotics those are really expensive so that's the main difference is that those things are going to cost you an arm and a leg the second difference is that they are custom so they are going to be perfectly one-to-one -one with your foot or at least they should be if you're paying that much money that's exactly what you should be getting which one is better it kind of depends just because all orthotics are not the same some of them are just like heel inserts which are really weird they're like they lift your heel up and things like that it just really depends on if you have like plantar issues or if you need torsional support or if you have flat arches there's all kinds of different things that's where like you're paying the big bucks for um, something completely custom tailor-made directly to your specific foot needs however the game day pro is more of an all-around or all-encompassing type of insole so this should help you with the majority of your needs maybe not something super specific which again you can really only get with a custom but i think these were like 60 bucks bingo but these things in comparison price wise to a custom orthotic i mean you're, you're saving a lot more money like this is less than half of a custom cost what size should i get so for that some people are you know they wear a 10 casually they wear a 10 and a half for performance shoes or whatever it is whatever shoe you're putting them in whatever size that shoe is that's what i would go with so uh, if you have this shoe and it's a size 10 and a half make sure that you're ordering this thing in a 10 and a half it's going to fit in there perfectly they make these in size runs so it's not like the style that you would go grab at like a big box store uh, like a Foot Locker or a Dick's Sporting Goods or something like that where it's kind of like a one size fits most and then you got to trim it and that's not what these are you order your shoe size not your your foot size again if you're wearing like a Jordan casually and then that's like a size 10 and then your performance shoe is a 10 and a half and you want one for each you're going to need to order a 10 and then a 10 and a half because otherwise you're going to have a gap where it'll be a little too long I'm healthy I'm young I bought expensive sneakers already do I I need these insoles and why who asked this <laughs> is that really what they said <laughs> yeah that sounds sassy <laughs> that's why i delivered it <laughs> jeez what was the question do i need these insoles why oh i think i know so they're young they're a young athlete maybe you don't need something like this right now which is true you guys should have like really strong ligaments some of them are still actually growing depending on what your size is and things like that or like how old you are how far along in puberty but we don't want to talk about that no. 
Do you need these? The real short answer is no, you don't need anything. Should you use these? Possibly. If you're trying to make sure that your performance is at its highest peak possible without doing long-term damage to yourself in the long run, then that's where like something like this would be beneficial. Again, that's where something like this one, the game day, where it's the softer one, that's the one where it's not going to be so rigid that like I think that this is going to suit most people. But again, if you're comparing this and, and this, uh, this is not a joke. This is like what comes in these shoes. Like obviously this is a Jordan 1 insole, but the uh, performance insoles aren't much better. So, you know, what type of garbage do you want in your shoe? That's, I guess, the question that you'd have to ask yourself. Or did you want something that's a little bit more beneficial? It's kind of like if you were to ask me like, hey, I'm young, I play outdoors 99% of the time. Congratulations, by the time you're my age, you're gonna feel like it. So that's just kind of what it is. Take care of your body while you can. That way in the long term, you're good to go. Are these good for other sports like golf, tennis, running, baseball? Yeah, these are performance insoles. So they can be used for anything. So all, all types of performance. The way that your foot moves, bends, twists, it's different in every sport, but this thing right here was actually made in, I don't know how to phrase this, but it was made with like science behind it. You know what I mean? Like, so it's not just somebody being like, I want this in my insole and then they brought it to like market. They actually did a ton of research. They had a lot of uh, I think it's they're called podiatrists. That's a foot doctor, right? So they had a lot of those people uh, actually work on these. There's a foot doctor that reviews shoes on YouTube, Foot Doctor Zach. He actually reviewed one of these. I think it was the pro. He did a great review on these. So if you wanted something from that type of perspective, especially from the medical field where like you kind of like need more uh, of that type of jargon, then I would go, you know, watch his video and he gives a great breakdown on these things. Do you move insoles work in the KD14 and Jordan 30? I don't have the 14 with me. I have the 15s, but it's the same exact tech specs. Both of these shoes have what they call zoom strobal units. So it's basically top loaded air. The short answer is yes, um, but there's a caveat or an asterisk to it. So that full length air unit is going to be resting right here. Uh, this thing is going to be sitting directly on that. You can use this. One of the co-owners or co-founders of Move Insoles actually uses the Game Day Pro in his KD14s religiously, and he hasn't had any issues. But one of my concerns is just that this plate right here is right where your foot bends and when you have it bent like this you can see where it starts to flatten off and that's where it would add a little bit of pressure to that zoom unit or that air pocket and that's where you can run into some issues if it like you know really beats down on that zoom unit it could pop it if that were to happen i don't know if nike would guarantee the warranty at that point but if you have something with exposed cushion in your shoe again the game day the more affordable option of the two also the softer nylon plate this one won't have the same issues you'll still get better torsional support than what actually comes in the footwear so there's that as like a, a bonus or whatever but yeah you can cross category these things from any sport whether it's casually or performance oriented so they're good for like the jordan ones and other retros yeah so again this is the jordan one this is the, the lower costing one. So like, there's no comparison. I have a pair of blazers, for example, okay? I love the blazers. I think that they're a really great looking, casual, classic shoe. Inside of that shoe though, there's absolutely nothing. No arch support, there's barely any cushion. Uh, it comes with a insole that's similar to this thing. And I use these in them because it's more comfortable that way. It just makes the shoe that much more comfortable for me long-term. You can put them in a pair of Jordan ones. You can put them in a pair of Currys. Again, these two shoes shoes you can put them in I would just be careful about using the pro versions just in case it's it's being a little extra cautious but to me that's better than you know not the only shoe that I would say that you would have a potential issue is something like this where it's a drop-in system so this is technically the midsole and it is removable uh, you can drop this on there okay so it does fit in there again this is a great example for sizing this is a size 9 shoe this is a size 9 insole and it's a perfect one-to-one -one fit so whatever size your shoe is that's the size of insole you should be buying however this then increases your stack height a little bit inside the shoe so then it'll alter the fit a little so the drop-in midsoles are the ones where it might not be super compatible so which move insole is best for everyday casual use uh, that's where I do go with the, the game day. So this one's got the softer nylon plates, just not as harsh on your uh, your arch. This thing you got to break in a little bit before you start to get used to it. So if you're just a casual guy, this is going to be perfectly fine for you. How can we get move in 
consoles outside of the US without crazy shipping. Uh, I do know that the uh, the brand is working on trying to get better discounts or better rates for shipping, but I mean, shipping is just really expensive. So this is something where like me personally, I own another uh, company, it's a, an apparel brand. We do offer international shipping, but we don't own USPS. I don't own UPS. I don't own FedEx or DHL. Surprise, surprise, you know what I mean? Like I cannot help what those companies are charging for their rates from where I'm located to where you're located and neither is move or anything like that. I think that us as consumers have been spoiled by the Amazon Primes and the Nike $5 shipping, but you're comparing a, a tiny startup company to a giant corporation with like decades of experience and deals with these shipping companies and things like that. So I know that they're working on it. We're all trying to work on it, but like we're getting charged these rates. And so that's just kind of what it is. We can't really help that. Like I, I'm not gonna walk into Starbucks and be like, I'm not paying $7 for coffee and then they'd be like well then you're not getting coffee that's just what it is will move insoles work for wide footers uh yeah they'll fit in any shoe so this was like the greatest example that i wish that i would have done earlier <laughs> so uh you know whatever size they are they're gonna fit so whatever your shoe size is order that insole it'll slide right in there and you should be good to go do pro athletes get like really customized versions of the move insoles not to my knowledge so i believe like chris paul damian lillard they're using the game day pros they actually invested into this company so they believe in it just like i do if we're talking about somebody like lebron james first off that guy's foot is jacked up beyond belief so he's getting a custom orthotic very expensive it's something specific to his weird foot shape i'm not trying to shame him i'm just saying that like his issue is far greater than what something like this is but if you want to maintain whatever your thing is then using something like this is going to be beneficial can i use move insoles and in cleats i believe you can cleats are a special case though because they usually don't have anything in them like there is an insole or a sock liner but underneath that you usually have the cleat plate but again if you order whatever your regular size is this thing right here should fit right in so order these true to the shoe or the boot size why do NBA players use insoles if they tape their feet already well tape is a different thing altogether so the tape is for kind of like an added layer of your ligaments and your tendons so that's uh, technically it's ankle support but it's basically bracing the ankle while mimicking its natural ability to support your body and it's just kind of like enhancing the strength so it's restricting its movement just a little bit. Uh, that really has nothing to do with an orthotic or an insole. This is for under the foot, whereas tape or pro tape is around the foot and the arch and the ankle. Do they worsen court feel and reactiveness? Uh, no, so the, it might do the opposite. Uh, not for court feel, but for that like reaction or response time, just because you're getting a more snappy ride underneath this thing and you're also getting something that is uh, more anatomically accurate to your foot. If you were to look at your foot outside of a shoe, it would look a little bit more similar to what this insole actually looks like versus something like this. I mean, there are people with flat feet like this but this is not the majority so this is supporting you this is not that's actually something I learned way back when when I first started running it's like called like the water test mm -hmm. and you're supposed to step in water and then step oh, on see the what floor. your footprint is yeah. yeah and that's a great way to know what your arch setup is so like if you do that and then you see that from your heel to the ball of your foot is flat and continuous and you have flat feet if you see that you have a I don't know how to explain it but like a very little line right here then you have a high arch and so something like this will be really good for you if you have a little bit more space so you have the ball of your foot your heel and it's connected with a tendril which is just your foot but it's not as like high as what i was just explaining then something like this the game day would be beneficial for that because it's not too harsh and it's going to cup your arch pretty much perfectly and it'll move with it do insoles offer real cushion and impact protection or just step in comfort it's a little of both it just really depends on the type of insole um, i should have grabbed one of these hold on So inside this shoe, Jordan 1, uh, this is the 85 version. So they're they're more accurate to what was originally released in 85 compared to something like this. So this is the insole that this particular shoe comes with. It's super thick. It's made out of polyurethane. This actually does have proper sculpting in there. So there's all of that stuff. Whereas the new Jordan 1s, like the regular ones come with this. So 
You know what I mean? Like there's a huge difference there. The thickness is a lot different as well. So to me, this is step in comfort and this is actual cushion. This is going to mold to your foot a lot better than something like this or something like this. These are more open celled foam. So this is meant to kind of trick your brain when you're in the store trying on a shoe. You're gonna put it on, you're gonna feel this at first. It's nice and soft. It's Don't let me! It feels like a Tempur-Pedic mattress underneath your feet. You're gonna put that thing on, you're gonna do, you do that or whatever, walk up and down the store aisle. You'll be like, hot damn, these are comfortable. It's just this, it's gonna go away in two seconds. Like T minus, it's already gone. Uh, something like this is dense foam. And dense foam sounds bad because dense means heavier, but also in the realm of foams, dense means longer lasting. So there's still gonna be air pockets in there, just like there are in these, but they're much more compact and they will last you a lot longer. The the way that these things work, like they're not much thicker. This one happens to be just the same. So it's not going to alter the shoes fit or anything like that. It would for this one. So these insoles are actually thinner than what comes in here. So if you were to put that in there, you get a little bit extra cushion, but you're also going to like lower your foot inside the shoe. So I personally wouldn't recommend it for the 85 cuts, but I would def definitely recommend it for the regular ones. Okay. Last question in case uh, people spaced out, how did you find out about move insoles? I actually know uh, one of the co-founders and the co-owners he and I have been friends for how long have I been doing this? Like 13 years, so maybe like 10, 12 years, something like that. Like he found me because I do reviews on YouTube and we had been friends for this long. He decided to create something like this with his co-founder and their partners. And when it came to the wear testing stage, that's when I came in, he reached out to me and he was like, hey Chris, this is our idea. This is what we wanna do. He told me everything and I really did like the idea. Once he sent me my samples, I was like, whoa, well I've used these before. I absolutely love them. They are made by Insight, which is you'll see them engraved on the arch plates. And Insight insoles also makes insoles. Theirs are a little bit different though. And um, basically the two of them partnered up and they created an even better insole together, which I think is really, really cool because I was already familiar with the product. I started testing and I was like, bro, these are these are awesome. And you know, this one's my favorite, but this is gonna be great for people that like need that extra torsional support or the extra arch support and things like that. So that's kind of how I got introduced to Move. It's because I know the person and then once I was done wear testing them and everything for them, then we started doing some consulting on things. Like they would pick my brain and I would give them answers. And then, uh, yeah, and then I became part of their like little board and stuff. And I don't do this with anything. It's only if I like actually believe in the products and these I do believe in. So now we're here. Is that it? That's it. Cool. <laughs> I can uh, turn my AC back on. All right, guys, so that pretty much takes care of it. Again, these are the Game Day and the Game Day Pro from Move. We'll have direct links down below in the description box. Hopefully, these answered your questions. Well, they, they should have. They were your actual questions. So uh, if they didn't, I'll be surprised. However, if you happen to have additional questions in somewhere on the page it's going to be like the like button the dislike button and right around there there's going to be a heart button if you click that uh, that's essentially a thanks or a tip thing i'm not going to do a jig or a dance or anything but if you use that and then ask me a direct question about these things i will personally answer them so like you can go ahead and do that and i can take care of that for you as quickly as possible outside of that i really hope that this helps you guys out especially if you were curious about move i think that's pretty much it with all that being said thank you once again for being here and until next time, have a good one.